We have the latest now on the Trump transition. 17 days until the inauguration, and the president-elect is back to business and back on Twitter. We're going to hear from his senior advisor, Kellyanne Conway, in just a moment. But first, ABC's Cecilia Vega is at Trump Tower here in New York. Good morning, Cecilia. Robin, good morning to you. A new year, a new tweet storm. Donald Trump, as you said, may be just days away from his swearing in. But on Twitter, at least, he's now looking backward to November and that big win taking another victory lap. Fresh off his big New Year's bash in Mar-a-Lago. All I can tell you is we're going to do a good job. Okay, do a good job. Donald Trump is ringing in 2017 with a Twitter blitz. And it seems no subject is off limits. The president elect writing North Korea just stated that it is in the final stages of developing a nuclear weapon capable of reaching parts of the U.S. It won't happen. Plus, a jab at Chicago's mayor on that city's murder rate. If mayor can't do it, he must ask for federal help. Even a complaint about a new book. Trump writing, it used the worst cover photo of me. Just 17 days to go until inauguration, Trump is promising something else on the calendar first. Big news on those Russian hacks. I also know things that other people don't know, and so they cannot be sure of the situation. Like, like what, do you, what do you know that other people don't know? You'll find out on Tuesday or Wednesday. He's still doubting evidence from 17 U.S. intelligence agencies who say they have concrete proof of Russia's involvement. Oh, I want them to be sure. I think it's unfair if they don't know. And Trump is back here in New York today. He's got meetings right here in Trump Tower, including with Mike Pence. Everyone, George, is now waiting to see if today might be the day that he releases whatever this new information is that he says he has on those Russian hackers.